A lot of the focus when I went to school was on recycling. Little did I know there was such a sinister issue just beneath the surface, and I just knew that I had to do something. My name is Shannon Lisa. I'm 22 years old. I'm the program director for the Edison Wetlands Association, and I'm a toxic detective. Whoever you are, wherever you live, water is the liquid of life as vital as the air you breathe. There's been no corner of the United States left exempt from being turned into industry's private dumping ground. A lot of young people like me are surprised that this is still an issue today. Do you want me to get... Uh... Do you want to get water and I'll get sediment, or do you want to? Well, why don't you, I'll let you get through. You can still smell it even through. Oof. Wow. Yeah, it's bad. Polluters, when they have wastes from their manufacturing process and they don't have a strong oversight, well, they just dispose of their garbage wherever, onto the ground, into waterways, through sewers. They can cause everything from cancer to liver damage and brain damage. It's such a high stakes issue. These are poisons we're dealing with. A lot of people ask us, what do you guys do? The Edison Wetlands Association is a nonprofit organization. We're dedicated to protecting human health and the environment, and I liken it to detective work that you see in the movies. Data, confidential government memos, and then there's the aspect of it in the field where you're almost looking like uh, looking for the fingerprints of a site, you know, taking samples, running them in a lab, and seeing what you find to try to discover a, a potential source of of chemical contamination. We were working on several dozen sites, all at different stages, including right where we are in New Jersey, all the way to beyond, out of state. Shake. <laughs> Back when I was 14 years old, it's the first time that I ever arrived to this place. It was actually on a high school class trip. That was the first time I ever met Bob Spiegel, um, and it just changed my path forever. And he talked all about his work and the organization's work, and I applied uh, to volunteer here as soon as I could. We're still working to educate the towns that border us. South Plainfield being one of them because they don't really look at this as a natural resource. <laughs> and Shannon works with us to do work on larger scale projects like the restoration of the land across the street. And that's something over the next year that's going to be, um, it's going to be transforming garbage to gardens. Yeah, I mean, that's the core of everything that, you know, working on environmental issues is. It's, you know, Oftentimes you got to clean up things that are not your own mess, but you do it because places like this are so important. I've really been putting a lot of work into getting our government to pay attention to the big scope, the big picture, and not just, you know, why should I care because it's just a community here and there. It touches so many Americans' lives across the nation that it should be considered its own national security issue. Without water, life of individuals or nations perishes. Bringing the environment to people allows them to care about not only the chemical waste issue, but all the other issues that so many other excellent people are working on, like climate change. The health and happiness of our communities will be determined by how well we meet the needs or safe, abundant water. It's not about individual action. It's about bringing a lot of other people in. <laughs>